Hello everyone and welcome to the channel on this waste horrible winter's day um, and as you can see behind me we have the TM140 which is minus most of itself um, and what we are doing to it is we have um, our crown wheel and pinion going into the front axle obviously our four wheel drive shaft goes on to that uh, our bushings were worn on our front axle so when any bit of play comes in dim axles, they um, eat your splines on your four-wheel drive. It's a very, very common thing with them. Um, we've known about it. It's been that way for a bit. And we just played away with it and played away with it. But um, due to how bad the weather has been and um, the workload that we have, we just said it would be better to get this one ready as well and uh, have the four-wheel drive uh, working properly in this that it's just not running around in an agitator or it's able to go on a tank or, or something else. So that's what we're at. Um, our axle has gone away. It's gone away to get the pin um, built up and taken down and bushed. And our diff is gone to um, a specialist who does that kind of stuff. Um, I suppose we could rip the diff ourselves, but diffs need to be, well, when you put in your new crown wheel, I'll go back a small bit and rewind and explain a bit better. Uh, you can't just put in a pinion gear, you need to get a crown wheel and a pinion, because they're machined to match each other, every set is machined to match the next one, so you need to get the two, and also when you're putting them in, the bearings need to be set, they need to be shimmed properly and all that kind of stuff and uh, that would be a bit beyond uh, me so it's gone to a specialist to uh, get it done so he reckons he'll have it done in the day which is very good so tonight we should have it back and uh, we will start the reassembly which um, I'll just show you a bit of there now so basically we just pulled our half shafts out of um, out of our axle and uh, pulled the hub and the whole lot so we didn't have to split the hub so we needn't worry about seals in the hubs and, and all that kind of thing um all them hub seals were done in the last year or two anyway so nothing major um so once we get our axle back it's a case of put them in put our diff in uh, bolt it all back together run our axle in underneath the tractor shove it up bolt it up job's done um fairly straightforward not a ridiculous amount of ripping involved in this uh, definitely we've done worse jobs and more complex jobs this one definitely wouldn't be uh, too bad so I'll just wait for the camera to focus um, so I suppose when I get that back we'll uh, we'll go through the motions of putting it back together and show you how all of that works um, this is our last well I'm gonna to touch wood here and camera sitting on a piece of wood so touch wood this is our last big repair job for the winter schedule as i would call it uh, you've probably heard me on about it already but basically um any kind of half no one falls we'd really check them out over the winter and get them done before things get busy uh this one is running a bit late it should have been done earlier on but we were just kept going there was something going on the whole time and um we just bit the bullet we could do without doing it this week we've enough to do but um just bit the bullet and said we'd go at it so that's kind of what this is uh, this video is going to be about um i don't know if any of you are watching the facebook page mr cvx you would have seen seen something with this tractor during the week and uh, all that will be revealed in due course Probably over the weekend you're going to see a bit of that so uh, anyway this one is basically all about the axle going back together the next update I'll give you is when the axle is here and we're putting stuff back into it okay so it's half eight here at night uh, we're gonna to have to collect our diff and once we get that back that will probably be it for this evening because we'll probably be a lot of two hours that way and we'll be on our league in the morning with loads to do uh, even unrelated to the diff but with a lot of uh, making and getting ready and, and stuff like that to do for what is up and coming which i'm not going to share a whole pile about yet but um Anyway, this is kind of the joys of being at this type of work. Um, at higher work, you're never finished. And 
it's the same all year round you're always under pressure you're always against the weather so it's kind of I suppose kind of just a small insight to what to be going on um we'll be on early again in the morning we will obviously be feeding cattle a little bit of first job and then um like i say into the shade a bit of manufacturing and a bit of getting ready so like i said just a small update on what's going on uh we're going heading off here now for this diff and <clears throat> once we're back that'll do us for this evening but just a small update on how we're going well you're very welcome back to the channel as you can see here we have a front axle back on uh pity i didn't get to show you this whole process going on but there was a shot of us around last night and we just tore into it and got her back together so that was fierce handy uh, she's up now and the hubs are on and, and basically we've only a bit of squeezing and a bit of chicken to do now um, I was telling you she was going off to be machined and uh, it was this pin here was causing mo I suppose most of the egg row really uh, There was wear there and that was causing uh, it to eat the splines in the back of the pinion Which is now done as well So with our new pinion fitted on the diff with new bushing put in here and uh, pretty much everything now is back the way it should be uh, nice and tight uh, like new so that's basically i suppose all that was to do with that um we slipped in our axle we lifted it up and uh, once we got a few bolts in that intro it was held and it made life a bit easier we when we were taking it apart we just split our hub our outer hub we'll say here took out our two kingpins and slid out the hub but um, trying to line it all back up wasn't too easy, uh, even though with the block and tackle there holding, holding the weight of the hub off the roof, uh, we ended up um, ripping, just ripping the face off the hub, uh, pushing through the shaft. Once the shaft was in, then putting our hub back together. But uh, all in all, not too bad, just a kind of an evening's work, really. So, uh, absolutely delighted now that is finished. Um, what we'll be doing today is squeezing her all up and um, we will be fitting a set of dual wheels so that may be of interest to all of you but uh, we'll definitely stick a bit of footage of that up and uh, we'll show you what should be going on well we got our jewels on um, they're nice snug enough fit they're going in fairly close so keep her a bit narrow on the road and um, that's kind of the main thing about them really help her stay up anyway so we've jewels all round and why we have the jewels i don't know why if you've all been guessing or you're all wondering or what but um, as you can see we bought a pipe system so with a front and back reeler they're only just harsh done for now because i need to wash them down and, and give us a quick look through them um probably be out with them tomorrow i'd imagine but uh, it's going to be a steep learning curve and we will definitely need some help and some advice as we go so probably be calling on a lot of you to tell us uh, how you do it and all that kind of thing so it's a splash plate system um that's what's on it now we have our trailing shoe and we can stick on it and uh, we're waiting on the dribble bar so that should probably be here at some stage in the, the next few weeks um i think we have a thousand meters of hose that's what i'm told anyway i must roll it out and i must measure um like i said tomorrow we'll probably be going somewhere we'd need around a thousand meters anyway so we'll get a good chance to um test her out and see how we get on um it's kind of the way a slurry spreading is going really uh our winters seem to be a lot wetter and wetter every year and when you do get some dry weather that's suitable for spreading you can't travel with tanks so that's kind of why we decided to go for it um no other reason other than that but uh i suppose we start start with a basic system and we can build and build and build from that and we'll see how we get on so i suppose this is kind of it for me really for this video um i'd say I have enough footage there to show you I, unfortunately there wasn't a whole pile of actual action in it uh, we glossed over a few bits but like i said there was a good few of us in it and um getting it all ready and all that kind of thing so i didn't obviously want to be putting everybody on camera because not everybody is into that kind of thing but um 
So yeah, that's it for me. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you for the next video.